What are the Cowboys doing? Yeah, that's a great question. Welcome back to the Card Show. It's a new segment here. We'll do it every week called What the er Are the Cowboys Doing? Because it makes no sense. So just to set you up here uh, for this, the Dallas Cowboys have not been to an NFC title game or a Super Bowl since 1995. So if my math is correct, that is 28 years. They are one of three NFC teams that have not advanced past the divisional round also since 95, meaning they're no better than the Lions or the uh, Commandos in that regard. Again, damn near 30 years. So what the are the Cowboys doing? I say this because they added a 33-year-old cornerback in Stephon Gilmore. They added a wide receiver that's on his fourth team in six years in Brandon Cooks. Meanwhile... OBJ goes to Baltimore. Uh, Javon Hargrave goes to San Francisco. Aaron Rodgers might be going to the Jets. Uh, I don't know. Cincinnati gets Brown, a badass left tackle from Kansas City. Everybody's getting better. Everybody's improving themselves. And I'm saying to myself, Jerry Jones is 80 years old. He is. Jerry Jones must want to win a Super Bowl before he can enjoy winning a Super Bowl, right? Right. That's why we asked the question. What the f- are the Cowboys doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Like, they could have gone after Aaron Rodgers. They didn't. They could have gone after OBJ. They played footsie with him last year. They, did. they didn't. What are they doing, Greg Jennings? Well, they're not going to better their roster with high-profile free agency guys that we believe that they should go after. Yeah. They have the drafts coming up. You have draft picks. You, you acquired... Gilmore, who who improves your defense. He's 33 he's, years old. What are we talking about? We he's at the end talk, of his career. He's not their number one guy. Right. He's a solid, solid corner that's going to help and ensure that Trayvon Diggs becomes even better. Yeah. Offensively, I don't think you move the needle by adding Brandon Cooks. You got a player that, that gives you depth. You which you yawn, which oh. you need. But when you look at the Dallas Cowboys, it's not about who who have they acquired and who have they not acquired. It's about what they have on their roster. They have a great team of personnel. Dak Prescott has to be yeah. different this year. Yeah, Period. you know what I mean. I miss the swashbuckling Jerry Jones, the guy that's in the news every day, the guy that's acquiring the best players available, the biggest names available. Like I know they didn't win titles, and I, I I'm not saying it worked. Okay, but come on, man, you're the Dallas Cowboys. Act like the Dallas Cowboys. Like what you this biggest move this offseason was. You know what? We have two head coaches. Yes. You know, uh, Dan Quinn's a head coach and Mike McCarthy's a head coach, <laughs> right? I mean, they brought in a failed New York Jet offensive coordinator to help Mike McCarthy, which makes me ask the question, what the d- are the Cowboys doing? You know, there are certain truths in life, right? Uh-huh. One of them is I don't have a great vertical jump, but I'm a lethal from downtown, okay? Oh, interesting. Another truth of life. The Dallas Cowboys are going to Dallas Cowboy. And I say that in a positive way. That every offseason, there's an expectation that my guy right there, Jerry Jones, is going to be in the mix for the best available free agents and or the biggest trades. And I don't know what happened to him. Like, I'm concerned about Jerry Jones because he didn't Jerry Jones this offseason. He hasn't Jerry Jones Uh, in a while. (laughs) And I need Jerry Jones in my life. No, that might be the best thing for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, now, now. Because Jerry Jones, Jerry Jonesing is awesome. It's has great not for won. How many championships has not produced the a championship since the '90s? But you need like there's certain like listen. I'm a very simple man. All right, I don't even like the Dallas Cowboys. Although when I was five years old, I had a thing for one of the cheerleaders, third from the left. That being said, I, get that. I need the Dallas Cowboys to act like the Dallas Cowboys. It allows me to dislike them more. It allows me to root against them more. Okay. Like, the world needs enemies. I'm sorry. It's true. The NFL needs bad guys. It's true. And I woke up this morning, and I said to myself, What the d*** are the Cowboys doing? The Baltimore Ravens got OBJ, and I'll give you a little sneak preview on who they're going to get next. Mm -hmm. His name is D. Hopkins. I was worried. You'd and say then all that. of a sudden, the Baltimore Ravens are the most talked about team in football this offseason. What happened to the Dallas Cowboys, man? 
Like the Dallas Cowboys don't win divisions anymore. They get in as wild card teams. The only playoff game they've won in a decade is against a 90-year-old quarterback in Tampa, formerly named Tom Brady. And I, it bothers me to my core that they are not acting like the Dallas Cowboys. It's disappointing to me. I know my Jets are going to suck. That's what the Jets do. I need the Dallas Cowboys to be the Dallas Cowboys. Can you guys get me on the phone with Jerry Jones? JJ, CC, what's up? <laughs> Can you start acting like Jerry Jones, please? So you want them to go get players so you can go back to hating them again? Yes, exactly. That's the problem. Right. You're not hating them. I enough. need the Dallas Cowboys to be a 13 or 14 win team every year so that I can hate them. Okay. They're like the old person on the floor with the meddler thing, right? <laughs> I'm the Cowboys. I've fallen and I can't get up. Okay. Get up! Say they go and get D-Hop today. They yeah. under, undercut everyone. Talk they get about a Cody Deck. They that's get a cowboy move. Okay, that's a cowboy move. Yeah. Does that make you hate them enough? I start hating again. <laughs> yes. I will start. It starts with dislike, and then dislike grows to hatred. Yeah, that's where I'd be. Because, I mean, think about what the Cowboys did last year. They let the New York Giants embarrass them. They did. The Dallas Cowboys, while they did win a road playoff game as well, Against Tampa, they weren't the talk of the NFCs. This young, handsome kid from Duke with no personality who only threw 15 touchdown passes, Daniel Jones, was the talk of the NFCs. He was not. All right? Yes, he was. The Eagles no. were in the Super Bowl. Exactly. Admit it. Say it out loud. Jalen Hurts was the talk of the East. Dallas, what the bleep are you doing? <laughs> you, know, you, know where, you know where Jerry Jones made his mistake? Yes. By getting rid of Amari Cooper. Yeah, well, that's, yes, we, you're we right get, about that. But like, we can't go back in time. We can't go got back Brandon in time. Cooks. But if you wanted a Super Bowl, you you gave it away. That well, was like, Amari Cooper is not the difference between them winning a Super Bowl how, and how, losing in the second round. What, that's crazy what talk. Did, what did Dak Prescott look like with Amari Cooper? Can we work up a new thing what that did, says what, what did, the F <laughs> is he talking about? What did about? Dak Prescott look like when Amari Cooper was out wide at receiver? He looked better. He a lot better. Yeah. Why do we think that the Dallas Cowboys – what was the main reason yeah. the Dallas Cowboys struggled last year? Uh, they did not have depth at wide receiver. And to be fair, Dak threw more interceptions than anybody else. That's right. Hmm. Um, what is this? What was that? What, 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 what? Need I say more? Uh, you think Amari Cooper Cowboys... sends them to the Super Bowl? Yes. If I may. You have a fever? No, I'm good. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm great. Checking. I'm excellent. Yeah. <laughs> it, people don't think that receivers matter. They matter. Yeah, right. Well, I, I they forgot you're a wide receiver. I, so totally for, I don't look at you that way anymore. I forgot. I apologize. <laughs> he, well, he is the Green Bay Packer Hall of Fame wide receiver, which is why he curries favor to other wide receivers. Like Amari Cooper's going to Canton. <laughs> no, did, he's not. I did not say that. <laughs> My memo to Dallas is this. And I, listen, I don't even like the Dallas Cowboys. I'm a New York Jet fan. I'm born and raised in New York. The NFL needs the Dallas Cowboys to be in the mix on everybody. We need Jerry Jones to be Jerry Jones, which is why we asked the question, what the d are the Cowboys doing? Good question, right? That's a very good no question. No other show's going to ask that question. No. I promise you that. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.